we need to go back to the drawing board every time we lose a deal. That's the most important thing. And this is me as an agent, as an investor. Every time we put an offer and we lose, okay, why is it, right? Let's, and we got, we want to get feedback from that agent, right? We don't, we don't um, play the woe is me card. Let's talk to him. Hey, how come ours didn't win? And maybe he'll say, look, you could have offered free occupancy and that's what we needed, but you didn't. And, you know, we took a different offer, right? We want to know how to best structure our next, you know, offer or deal that we put together. So I would always seek feedback, be open-minded and understand this is part of the process. Don't beat yourself up. Because if you just, mm-hmm. you just get defeated if you beat yourself up. And it took me seven, you know, that's a lot of houses I went through and lost. You know, it's like you put in your offer, you wait two days later or a day later that night. And it's like, nope, you lost. All right, back to the drawing board, back to the drawing board. So it's a frustrating process, but especially with how busy and the competitive the market is currently. Um, but I'll tell you where you'll find success is try not to look for the house that everyone else wants, right? Everyone wants a three bed, two bathroom that is com- like completely remodeled and refinished. That house will sell for 40, 50,000 over market and it'll have 25 offers on it. You know, one of the houses I really wanted, same thing, everything was refinished, granite, beautiful. And I lost, but it had 36 offers on it. And that's when I went back to the drawing board and I said, you know what? It is incredibly, your odds are so stacked against you when you are going up against 35 other people. So what I would tell you is look for the house that needs some work. Look for the house that maybe doesn't have two bathrooms. I know we'd love it. We all would love that bathroom. But if we could look for a three bed, one bath, which is what I went with here, this house had six offers on it, you know, so significantly less. I was able to uh, make it a fraction of that just because some individuals are, you know what, I will not accept anything less than two two bathrooms, right? So look for something that needs paint. Look for something that needs a little bit of love. Uh, And I think that's where you'll find yourself a little bit, uh, your success rate being a little bit stronger than continuously chasing the one, the house that everyone else is chasing yeah and then you like you talked about earlier you got creative on the offer too and uh made it a little more compelling to the seller yeah 100 percent. 